Alright. Another one worked like Nova, so it's Skype. Alright, so. First thing. I am planning on doing missing in action, but first I want to go to the Ben and Mayo. So. Let's go ahead and go to the Ben and Mayo. Because I want to pick some things up. I'm actually like re recording this episode. I recorded it earlier today, but. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I actually recorded this like earlier today, but it was ruined by my dog, really. If it's work you need, here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. All right, and any rumors? People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? All right, any gossip? The companions? In Jorvasku? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Alright, uh, and what about magic? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Sparengar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Alright. Need anything else? Just let me know. Uh, yes. I have to... I'll, I'll head up to college and Winterhold later. But now, it's been a long time since Lydia died. Let's talk to Uskud. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. I think I could take you on. And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. All right, one hundred gold, you on? Just fists. No weapons. No magic. No crime. <clears throat> let's go. Come All right, that's good. Let's go. Yeah, I, I basically always call it us good good steps. That dude's about to get punched, man. You're a disgrace to your own kind. She is much hard to take out because she has the armor. People are trying to get hit. Come on! These are all one, two. You were saying? I won. Oh boy. Yeah, I beat you up last time. I beat you up again. Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. I think I earned that. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. Oh right, well, speaking You're of which, you can get things done. Let's not waste any time. Lydia died like a couple of episodes ago, so I need a new companion. I basically always call it a good because of uh, Sips' playthrough of Skyrim, which I love Sips. Like, he's so hilarious in his videos. Alright, uh... Okay, I actually want to go do Simon Moon's camp, so let's go ahead and do that. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of I actually want to do Simon Moon's camp and... Yes, what do you need? Get that done very quickly before heading up to Dolph Watch Keep. I really can't wait to get the Steed Stone just so I can carry more stuff. It's my go to in these games is always be able to carry as much stuff as possible. Come on, that's good. Let's go to Silent Moon's camp. Get the fight hold on. Yeah, I, I really want to get the Steed Stone very quickly. Just because I can carry more stuff. The very my go to in both Fallout and Skyrim is always get as 
be able to carry as much weight as possible as like, quickly as it can. Did I just hear a wolf or... I was gonna use him. Is he following me? There we go. Honestly, the companions in this game have a very weird path with them. Because it's like... I actually want this. But the companions have a very weird path. Like, for some reason, Asuka didn't follow me, the path I went. Said she went on the road and basically went the long way to get to me. Oh, hey, that's good. I was actually thinking about it earlier today. I don't really know which one, like, which I hate more. Like, I was just thinking about it. I don't really know what is worse, Twitter or Reddit. Like, they're, they are both terrible. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, they are both terrible, but... Twitter has some... Twitter has some good stuff about it. Like, there's some good things about Twitter, but... Like, they both suck. At least Twitter, you can post whatever you want, and... At least some people will like it, but... Reddit... No matter what you post, like... Reddit, you post something on there, and... Everyone hates you. It's just like the minute you post something, everyone hates you on Reddit. And you're just like, what did I do? I just posted something. It's like you post something on Reddit and everyone hates you. So. Even though Twitter sucks, I still probably think Twitter's better. Yeah, at least there's some good things in... Like, there's some good things on Twitter. Oscar, use that bow and fight back. I really hate ice mages so much. I really do not like ice mages. They slow you down, they get rid of your stamina. And they can easily kill you. Which I mean basically every enemy can. Especially after like really after you, you get to tw level twenty-five. The enemies the difficulty in Bethesda games are very weird because they go from it, it goes like hard. Or it goes from like medium to easy to very hard. It's really like once you get past level twenty five, enemies that enemies start spawning that can one shot you very easily. And it's just weird. Alright. So we're gonna take out this Bandit Chief. Now ain't this a oh. Get fire... Fireball on. Firebolt. Okay. Yep. Alright, that was very easy. Went down in like two shots. Alright, anything else here? I wish that enchantment wasn't there, or I would have totally taken that bow. Alright. Let's see how much I mess up on this, because I'm terrible with pick locking. Come on.
Hey, sorry you guys hear fireworks outside. Like, I'm filming this on Memorial Day, so people are celebrating. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I filmed this on Memorial Day, so people are celebrating, so. If you have fireworks, that's why, because it's Memorial Day. I'm just gonna take these. I'm still here. I need to carry some stuff. You need to take? take this stuff. And I want you to have this and I also want the war hammer that the leader had. Here you go. Let's go and give to you. What do you need to take? Don't need to take anything, but I want to give you this. Leader. All right. Let's get back to white run. Come on, I was good. Let's get back to white run. And yes, I'm gonna be calling her as good for as long as she lives, because of Sips. Again, I love Sips. If you have not watched Sips play, like through Skyrim, that's really like his best playthrough ever. I'm watching him play through Sip City and well, Sim City, and it's so hilarious. Sips is easily one of my favorite content creators. Right, let's go ahead and talk to Abenichi. Get our reward for killing that bandit leader. I need to sell a lot of stuff. Alright. I am in charge now. And my first order of... My, my first order as y'all is we are executing Nazim. We are bringing him to Dragon Reach. And before he dies, the last thing he is going to hear is... Do you get to clap this Rick very often? What am I saying? Of course you don't. Alright, that's the end of that. That's the end of that, so let's go ahead and find out Nietzsche. I do love how much of a meme. I love all the memes Skyrim has made. I just love it so much. I serve Jarl Balgrup. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Alright. And I don't think I have enough to buy a house. Reach. I don't think I have enough to buy a house. Alright, let's go and do missing in action. I don't think I have enough to buy a house and I honestly don't even know if I want to buy a house. Because I have the Hardfire DLC and I like building my own house. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. But yeah, it's not as good as uh like yeah, you can't really build your own house like in Minecraft, but or even Fallout 76, but it's still good. And I remember I said like like once I posted on Reddit that like I think Hardfire is one of the best DLCs that, like, in Skyrim, and I had so many, you know, like, there was so many people being like, there were so many people just being like, I wouldn't say it's the best, I'm like, I'm not saying it's the best. Like, something I learned is, apparently on the internet, saying it's one of the best just means that it's the best, which is not, in my opinion, the Dawnguard DLC is the best DLC that Tessa has ever made. And we will get to that. Uh, and like we will get to that DLC.
but I was just talking about how cool it was ha be being able to build your own house, and people were like, I wouldn't say it's the best. I'm like, I'm not saying it's the best. I'm saying it's one of. And I was saying my opinion, Fallout 76 did way better. The only thing, in my opinion, the only thing Fallout 76 really needs to do with the whole building mechanic is just make the area bigger. I think it's just walk there, because there's a lot to discover, a lot to explore, and also I'd like walking in Skyrim. This is all Bethesda games. Hey, every Bethesda game, I like just walking everywhere. Just ignore that giant's camp. Again, giants can kill me very easily. Oh, it's orc sword. Yes. I don't think it's as good as this. Is it? Uh, no, it's not. But once I upgrade it, it might be. I just really want to switch to a sword, honestly. Nothing wrong with a war axe, but I just love swords, and I would love to. Now, I honestly think I want to switch over to a sword in this game, like in this playthrough. Okay, I think I lost uh, us good, so. Oops. My bad. There's nothing an issue with uh, Skyrim, is that. The AI has a very weird, like, AI has a very weird, uh, took you out. The AI has a very weird, like, area where they can walk. Like, a very weird path. I, I don't know why it's that way, but it just is. Like, it just is that way, so. I really need to remember to sell things before I leave on adventure. This is why I want to steed some, because really a big reason why I'm overweight, like over number all the time, is because I have heavy armor, I have a shield, I have like a war axe, I have all these weapons. So I need to get. So this is why I really like getting the steed stone as quickly as I can, because I can carry more stuff. The more things I carry, the less I have to worry about. Alright. Let's go ahead and check this area out first, and then I'll check that little house over there. Oscar's still gone. I should probably wait for her, but I'm not going to. What's over here? Save a cat. Oh yeah, level up. Okay, get my health up. Alright, can I do smithing or now I need 30 in order to make Dwarven armor. Okay. So in that case, let's just do heavy armor then. Take the cat out. Oh boy. Yeah, I've hit wolf. Let's go join us eventually. Killing way too much stuff. I think a lot of it 
does have to do with the food I have. See if I can open this. Alright. Alright, let's wait an hour because. Okay, I was gonna say it's not here, so. Maybe we have to enter a load zone or something. I don't know. Alright, well, that's gonna be all for this episode, so. Next time we are gonna check out that house and head towards Steedstone. See you guys all then.